Napoleon used to write to his lover, Josephine, Do not bathe, I am coming! It may sound a bit weird, but it surely won't after watching this video. Take a second to think about what attracts you most towards the opposite sex. Some of you might say it's the eyes, some might say it's the lips, maybe the body, but most of you are wrong. Smell is what attracts us the most. And no, do not run to purchase a perfume in the meantime, because it is precisely the natural smell of the body. A series of studies conducted at several universities around the world have shown that humans, similar to other animals, can smell sexual attraction of members of the opposite sex. We do this through chemical signals called pheromones, which subconsciously transmit information to our brains. Pheromones are odor molecules which are secreted from different parts of the body, perceived by the brain of other beings and humans, and provides the opposite person with information about us. After scanning the brains of women and men while smelling pheromones, a brain stimulation was observed in areas associated with sexual attraction in the anterior hypothalamus. This brain stimulation occurred in women's brains only when smelling male pheromones, and observed in men's brains only when smelling female pheromones. If you were wondering, the opposite picture is presented in gays and lesbians. The so-called men and lesbians are from Mars, women and gays are from Venus. The most interesting study conducted on this subject, and the first to suggest that chemical signals play a role in sexual attraction, was conducted by Claude and DeKind more than two decades ago. DeKind gathered a group of men and asked them to wear the same t-shirt for two consecutive nights, and to avoid the usual activities which cause sweating, in order not to cover up the natural body odor, such as using aftershave, eating garlic, and physical exercise. The researchers then placed the shirts in a jar and asked the women to smell it and indicate which sense was more pleasant and sexy in their opinion. The choices were widely varied. In order to understand what caused a particular woman to choose a particular man, the researchers performed blood analysis for both men and women and discovered something amazing. The women's selections were not random. They were attracted to men with a genetic load composition, also known as Major Histocompatibility Complex, or MHC, which was very different from their own. MHC is a series of genes associated with immune system. From an evolutionary point of view, choosing a partner with a different immune system is preferable. Children of parents with different immunization genes tend to be more resistant to diseases and therefore have a higher chance of surviving. Different genes mean resistance to different diseases. A mixed combination of different resistance patterns will benefit any child who inherits it. Thus, from a purely genetic point of view, it would make sense to be attracted to people with a different MHC composition. The researchers hypothesize that it is an evolutionary trait designed to create genetic diversity and prevent disease or mutations by enriching the diversity of immune system among offspring and providing them with improved chances of survival. On the unconscious level, deciphering smell and sexual attraction is a powerful tool to ensure children are healthy. That is why we do not attract to family members, by the way, because they have the closest immune system like we do. Have you ever imagined that all this information of a potential mate can be discovered only through the sense of smell? Well, the women in Wadkin's study were able to do that. By the way, they said that the smell reminded them of their current partner or their ex's smell. This is the real secret in Wadkin's research. Of all the millions of people we meet throughout our lives, of all the coincidences in our path, and of all the choices we make, our brain and body are equipped with an amazing ability to direct our passion towards a particular type of people, even only one person, that may have been created just for us. Another interesting finding from this study involved women who took birth control pills. These women reacted in the opposite way to other women, meaning that instead of finding the scent of men carrying a different genetic load as attractive, they were actually attracted to men with a similar genetic load. The explanation is that birth control pills mislead the body to believe it is pregnant, and during pregnancy, a woman is not looking for a new partner. She can actually benefit from being close to family, people with a similar genetic load, who can help her during pregnancy and after birth with the baby. 
The question is, if smell can be such an important indicator in choosing a partner, what does this do for women taking birth control pills? Are they undermining their innate ability to choose a suitable partner? A different yet interesting study in this matter shows that despite the so-called secondary importance of human sense of smell, is actually one of the most sophisticated and delicate sexual signaling systems, capable of distinguishing not only suitable candidates for mating, but also the exact time in which reproductive chances are best. Scientists have found through tests of testosterone levels that men show higher sexual arousal towards women at ovulation state, compared to women at other stages of menstruation. A man may be attracted to a woman during ovulation who might not have noticed her otherwise. This may explain the fluctuations in a particular man's feelings towards a particular woman, or the temporality of a romantic clique. And there's more! When scientists took a male hormone and sprayed it on chairs and inside phone booths, they found that women continued sitting on the chairs or stayed longer in booths. One commercial company researching scents found that perfumed invoices were paid faster. Eventually, we take pride in being an odorless society. We scrub and rinse ourselves until our natural body odor disappears, and then we replace it with artificial and commercial blended aromas. If we get rid of fragrances and perfumed body creams for a while, and allow our skin to breathe, we will discover deeper privileges of our sense of smell, perhaps in a less profound way than it was among our ancestors, but still, it would be a powerful matter. Think again about the sentence that Napoleon used to say to his lover, does it make sense to you now? Let us know in the comments whether these studies have convinced you, whether you think the nose knows, even before the heart does who is the right partner for you. If you found this video interesting, please share it with your friends and join us to see more interesting and fascinating science facts videos on the channel. Hit subscribe and like. Thanks and see you in the next video. Stay tuned!